Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and once again I'm coming to you with another product review. And in today's product, we're going to be taking a look at another flashlight from one of my favorite flashlight companies. I really enjoy doing these reviews because being in the gun world and the gun culture not only means we're interested in guns, but a whole plethora of EDC gear from holsters, knives, and even flashlights. And I had been very impressed with Through Night. And today we are going to unbox and take a look at another tactical flashlight from them, the Model TN12V6. I have been very impressed with their product line, and hopefully this one's not going to be a disappointment. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the camera. Let's unbox this. Let's see what this light is all about. Then we'll test it out here in the garage and outside, and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. So here's the box, this Thru-Night TN12V6 flashlight comes in. I see they're still putting the labels over the logo on the box. I wish they would not do that, put it on the side or something, because sometimes they even put it on what is in the box. It's kind of annoying. So normally it's either here or on the side and it covers up information. So let's go ahead and open this up. We obviously have the light right here. We'll take a look at that in one second. You get a user manual, a pouch, which is really nice. You get some spare parts and a lanyard. You get a charging cable and you get a clip. So now let's take a look at this light. It's a pretty big one. It looks like we have a tail cap with a button on it. Normally that turns these on and off. And we have an adjustment button on the side to go through the different settings. And normally that's how Through Night likes to set up their tactical lights. So let's go ahead and screw this down. That's what this little thing on the side is telling us to do. And now the light should be on if I push the back of it. Should go to Firefly mode and it does, and then pushing this button should go through the various settings. Looks like we have four or five settings, that's quite a lot, and that turbo mode is really, really bright, and I think if you hold down the button, it should go to a strobe mode, and yes, it does. The reason I think they call these a tactical flashlight is because of their size, and you can adjust the settings here, but you can hold it with your thumb on the tail, and if you're carrying a gun, you could use it independently from the gun and simply turn the light on and off with that rear button. So if I have it set to a brighter setting, and then all I have to do is go on and off, and that's how you use it. We also have some little winglets here on the side to protect the tail cap button, and it looks like the bezel has some elevated ledges to it. So I guess you could use this as a last line of defense melee weapon if you needed it to. So normally these through knights are finished really well. This one looks like it is. I like the design of it. We have our charging port on the side. So let me go ahead now and turn off the lights here in the garage. Let's see how bright this light is, how well it works, what the hotspot looks like, and then we'll take it outside and see how far the beam can be thrown. So as always, I have the flashlight pointed towards that little alcove in the back of my garage you guys see in all of my videos. Let's go ahead and turn on this light, and we start off with the Firefly mode. And that's actually pretty bright for a Firefly mode. It does have a pretty centered hotspot. That's actually pretty useful. One of my big complaints with Firefly mode is that it's typically way too dim. All right, so let's move up a setting, see what happens. That's going to be the low setting. That is pretty bright. The color of this light is supposed to be cool white. I thought it would have more of a centered hotspot, but it looks more like a floodlight. Let's go up a setting, and it's now getting pretty bright. Next setting, even brighter, and that is really lighting up the garage. And I think I have one more setting to go. And yes, I do. And that is like a torch. That really lights up this place. Very, very interesting. We have a lot of spill, and as you can see, it lights up the garage. So it's not as directional of a light as I was thinking it would be. So the turbo mode is really bright, and I have to say, it's not making the light too hot overall. So pretty good. It seems to be a versatile flashlight. 
with plenty of light and it's easy to toggle through all of those settings. All right, so now let's go outside and see how far the beam can be thrown. So here we are outside in my backyard looking down the alleyway at my neighbor's homes. Let's go ahead and turn on the TN12 V6. We start off in Firefly mode and as you can see it is pretty much unusable. We'll go up to the low setting and there it is. Obviously a pretty good hot spot. The beam is being thrown a good distance. Let's now go ahead and go to the next setting and things are getting a lot brighter. I'm actually very impressed with the beam's distance. Seems to be very useful, especially for outside. I'm going to the next setting, you can see it is lighting my yard up. Go up another setting. There that is. And if I raise the beam, you can see it is lighting up the houses down the way and the trees. And that is quite a bit of distance away. So I think for an EDC tactical flashlight, that is going to be well more than anything you would need. So that's what the beam looks like outside in kind of a practical setting. So overall, I'm pretty impressed. So let's go back in. I'll give you some more specs about this light and give you my final thoughts. And as you can see, this is a pretty darn versatile flashlight. We have lots of settings and I wanted to give you the specs on how bright each setting was. So according to the manual, Firefly mode is 0.5 lumens, low is 25 lumens, medium is 125 lumens, high is 600 lumens, and turbo is 1950 lumens. And that's why we saw such a big difference between the high and the turbo setting, which I do like. So overall, I am very impressed by this light. I could see using this for basic EDC or as a tactical light to go with my concealed carry pistol. It seems to work well, like all through nights. It seems to be rugged and well built, and I love how many settings there are and how easy the buttons are to activate and go through the settings. So on my star system, how would I rate the through night TN12 V6 tactical flashlight? Well, I'm giving this one five out of five stars. It does everything I would want it to do. I really like the color of the beam. It seems to be bright. You have tons of options and it just works. And I've had a lot of great luck with through night flashlights. In fact, most of my EDC flashlights are from through night. So a perfect review, five out of five stars. If you're looking for a good EDC or general purpose tactical flashlight, I would definitely check this one out. So let me know what you think in the comments section below. Does a flashlight like this interest you? And do you carry one like this? And as always, thanks for watching.